far away from home and for this long and it really teaches you responsibility. I've made a lot of new friends. I'm having the time of my life. I'm learning a lot. It's an incredible experience. I think it's probably the best experience I've had in my life. I love that the students get the opportunity to visit other countries, see other cultures, and experience a life that's different than their own. My name is Gary Stewart. I'm the head of admissions for the great state of Florida with People to People Student Ambassador programs. As you can see, the People to People program is in high demand in South Miami. We have a lot of information to cover today. I would like to tell you where we're going to be taking you this coming summer. We are going to France. We're going to go to Paris. Ladies, when you think about Paris, you start thinking about world fashion. We are going down the most famous shopping district in the world, the Champs-Élysées. Can you say the Champs-Élysées? Now we can work on your French later when we get there. We're going to be climbing to the top of the Eiffel Tower. We have some amazing experiences for you planned as we make our way through Italy. We're going to go to Rome, guys. This is where history literally comes to life. We're going to spend an afternoon at the Vatican meeting with a member of the church, learning how the, the decisions they make there affect our lives each and every day right here in Florida. We'll make our way through Austria, and then we're going to be hiking throughout the Swiss Alps. These are just some of the things that we're going to be doing this coming summer. Parents, I know you have two questions right now. Can I go too? And this sounds great. Is this safe for my child? During our time together, I will outline some of the very rigorous safety protocol that we have developed over the last 50 years, traveling more than 500,000 people to locations around the globe. I'll introduce to you your teacher leaders. These are educators from the community that we have handpicked and trained to work with your families over the next few months in preparing to traveling over to Europe again this coming summer. And then we have some special guests with us here today. These are students who have traveled with people to people. Some of them are just returning home from overseas this summer, and they'll be able to share with you, as a member of your community, what was it really like to travel in this program. And then finally, we'll wrap up with your boarding pass so that you will know the next steps to proceed with to get involved in this local Miami delegation traveling to Europe this coming summer. Sound good? All right, fantastic. Let's go ahead and get started. I would like to uh, explain a little bit about the history of this program so that you can really familiarize yourself with the very proud tradition of people to people. Let's hear from the big guy himself. This is President Eisenhower on the day that he launched the People to People program with his mission to create peace around the globe. Ladies and gentlemen, the purpose of this meeting is the most worthwhile purpose there is in the world today, to help build the road to peace. It all started with a president. Dwight D. Eisenhower was chosen as Supreme Allied Commander during World War II and served as President of the United States during the Cold War. The vision of a more peaceful world became the defining theme of his presidency. But I am talking about the exchange of professors and students and executives, the uh, providing of technical assistance and uh, the ordinary traveler abroad in this way. I believe is the truest path to peace. Eisenhower believed that people-to-people -people interactions were the solution to world peace and the success of all world citizens. The people-to-people -people movement was born out of this great vision and lives on today through people-to-people -people ambassador programs. Since the 1960s, 
more than 500,000 ambassadors have traveled on the educational adventure of a lifetime. Students have to step outside their comfort zone. The team building activities they do, it equips the students with personal empowerment that they will take with them in whatever situation, work situation, school situation. It makes them in control of their life. They're unique individuals who share a passion for getting out into the world and making it a better place. As an ambassador, you'll experience the world with eyes wide open, going to places the average student trip can't. You'll experience iconic destinations, explore new cultures and local customs, and gain an academic edge, all while having the time of your life. Welcome people to people to Bristol, England. We'd like to welcome our American friends here. People to people, welcome to Greece. Welcome to Paris, hope you'll enjoy your stay. Welcome to Japan, people to people. Ambassadors have endless opportunities to see the world. Students gain confidence and maturity through months of pre-travel preparation and by taking part in unique activities on the program, like rappelling down a castle wall in Wales, living like a member of another culture in Fiji, and taking part in a robotics challenge at a top American university. You are heading into a world where your friends and coworkers will be from all around the globe. Building an awareness of the world is essential for success in our fast-moving global society. So you have an obligation, an obligation to be good citizens, an obligation to learn all you can, an obligation to get ready for the world that we're going to bequeath to you in the not-too-distant future. I salute you as well for exercising your convictions not just at the keyboard, but in programs like People to People. Today, success in getting into college and advancing in your chosen career requires new 21st century skills and the ability to think beyond our borders. We're always looking for students who have pursued academic enrichment programs, programs that take them outside of the classroom, outside of their community, and really introduce them to other academic outings. Ambassador programs are designed to give you an academic edge. They're even led by educational professionals who make the most of each learning opportunity. These teacher leaders are also an important part of our industry-leading approach to safety. With GPS tracking, extensive training for leaders and students, and dedicated staff on call 24-7, we set a high standard for travel safety. We are very, very serious about the safety of our children. It's the number one foremost thing. Rest assured you're in good hands with people to people. They've been traveling students for over 50 years. They know what they're doing. Every continent, country, and city brings new adventures, friendships, and experiences that you'll take with you for the rest of your life. To the young people who are here tonight, I ask you to go forward and always remember that we're citizens in the truest sense of the word, not just of this country, but of this precious planet. Your people-to-people -people experience will not only make a difference in your life, but can actually change the world. Learn what it means to be a global citizen through unique and rewarding service projects. In 2014, ambassadors earned more than 120,000 service learning hours. Join students just like you and make an impact around the world. Um, we are at the east coast of Japan where the tsunami hit last year. Seeing everyone work together, digging in the sand and get out debris or like logs and knowing that like you touch these people's lives just as much as they touched yours. It's just an amazing feeling of accomplishment. Over the next several months, you will see and learn more about the world than most people will in a lifetime. Each day of your ambassador experience will bring new adventures as you explore places you've only dreamed of. We are at the top of Machu Picchu. This is like a once in a lifetime opportunity and I still can't believe that I'm here. The time is now, the choice is yours. As a people to people ambassador, your world will change forever. So the only question left is, are you ready? There is no more important work than that which we are asking you to participate. Thank you very much for your Now you know more about the history of people to people and how this travel experience goes well beyond your typical tourist trip. 
When our students are traveling, they're traveling for an ultimate purpose. President Eisenhower, starting People to People back in the mid-1950s, he got together a group of some famous people to proudly represent the United States to the people of the world. So for example, Louis Armstrong, the famous jazz musician, Bob Hope, the comedian, Joyce Hall, Hallmark Cards, my personal favorite, Walt Disney. Walt Disney did travel with people to people and it was after he traveled abroad, not as a tourist is taking pictures of things, but having arranged face-to-face -face visits with people from different nations, just as you will. Being able to have a homestay and to learn about a culture in the best way possible, and that's to truly live it, just as you will. It was this experience for Walt that learning about other cultures and their day-to-day -day traditions, their sports, their music, their hobbies, the kind of food they ate, it was this experience that really transformed the way that he looked at the world. He was so inspired by this that he returned home to the United States and he created a pretty famous ride. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's a small world after all. After traveling with people to people, how many people, by a show of hands, have been driven crazy by the music on that ride? Me too, me too. But again, I want you to realize the very proud tradition that you're getting ready to join. This is an experience that as a student will certainly set you apart from your peers. All of you have been invited here today to learn about the Student Ambassador Program. But in order to actually travel in the program, students, you will need to proceed through a selection interview. So during our time today, I'm going to walk you through that interview process, and I'm going to give you some great tips as well. I'd like to introduce you to your local leadership team. And as they're making their way to the front of the room, let me tell you a little bit about the safety of our program. We have reserved 40 spots for students to form a local delegation to proudly represent the community of Miami to the people of Europe. We will have an excellent supervision ratio, one professionally trained teacher leader for every 10 students in the program. 40 students, four teacher leaders. As soon as we arrive over in Europe, we're going to be met by an in-country expert. This is an individual who actually resides in Europe. So they know their way around. Most of these individuals speak about four or five languages. They're going to handle all of our logistics to make sure that we get from point A to point B in time. And this really allows our teachers to focus on our kids instead of trying to read a map and find their way around four countries for three weeks in Europe. It's an excellent addition to the safety of our program. These delegation managers, the in-country experts, they're a lot of fun, but they allow you to really experience the culture because they're able to connect you to it. It's not just a tour guide that we hire from the United States to fly with you over to Europe. So when you have this individual along with our professionally trained motor coach driver, the supervision ratio is even better. It's one professionally trained adult to every eight students in the program. Parents, you will find the safety and the coordination of this program phenomenal. Um, also too, while our leaders are traveling, we're going to provide them with internationally equipped cell phones so that at any time, day or night, they can reach out to our national office, our safety response team. So if they have a question, a concern, maybe if a student isn't feeling well, they're not trying to take all this on their own. So instead, they would call our national office day or night. We can provide them assistance. Dad, we'd reach out to you. And then we're working as a triangle offense together to support your student while they're traveling throughout Europe. Um, our, our safety is literally global wide because we also will be partnering with our overseas partners who are based over in Europe during the entire program as well. I'd like for you to hear more about some of the safety of our program and of course the preparations for all of you from our local teacher leaders. If I could have all of you make your way up, I'd like for you to see who it is that you're gonna be traveling with and working with over the next several months preparing for this exciting adventure. I'd like to start by introducing you to an individual who really 
puts forth a lot of volunteer time to make this program absolutely exceptional for all of our students every year. Please help me welcome your area director for South Florida, Miss Megan Stockstad. Thank you, Gary. Hello. Thank you for coming out. There's so many of them. Oh my goodness. Welcome. Um, I am the area director for South Florida. I am an educator for about 20 years. I teach high school. And my primary job is to find extraordinary leaders like these. This is just a sample. My main concern when I first look for a leader is kind of selfish because I have a child also. And when I look at the leaders, I'm asking myself, would I let my child, who is 14, travel with any of these leaders? And it always has to be yes, so that's first. Okay, then they have to be educators, and they have to be good ones. They can't just be kind of good. They have to be really good. And they also have to be fun, because this is educational, but it's an opportunity to take the classroom out into the world, and so it needs to be a little different than sitting in the classroom. It needs to be fun. So that's really important. My primary job with them is to interface with the home office with them. Uh, students, they do have to take quizzes and tests, and they have deadlines and, and things that they have to do. So that's kind of fun to watch. And they are amazing. So I would like to introduce you to them. This is just four out of about 30, 35 leaders that we have in all of South Florida. They are handpicked, and they are very special. And I'd like to start with our primary leader for this delegation that you're watching a video for today. Good afternoon, my name's Brenda Andre, and I have taught 30 plus years with the Dade County School System. I teach right now at Robert Morgan Educational Center, and I teach uh, hospitality management classes, leadership, and SAT and ACT prep classes. I'm really excited about this trip and going to Europe, and I know that you will be excited and that you're gonna work really hard with us to make sure that your kids get to go, because it's a fabulous trip that will bring them home, you know, new citizens of the world. They're gonna go to countries and they're gonna visit with families, students, they're gonna do adventures. They're gonna, you know, learn to do some things that are totally safe, but a little outside their comfort zone to where they're gonna push themselves and they're gonna grow and they're gonna come back, you know, with a lot of educational and fun experiences that they could get no other way. And I look forward to seeing you this summer. Hi. <laughs> no <flat>. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Michelle Bolt, and I have been teaching with Miami-Dade County Public Schools for 19 years. I teach at Coral Reef Senior High School right now. I'm a National Board Certified Teacher. I'm also a Department Head at Coral Reef Senior High. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit, oh, I'm actually leading a delegation this, this next summer, 2015, to Spain and Portugal. So, um, and that's a 14-day trip, and um, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about safety. We have a safety response team that really, as a leader, it puts our minds at ease, and I'm sure that it, will put it puts parents' minds at ease, because 24-7, if there is any kind of issue that one of the delegation leaders cannot handle, we have a safe safety response team that we can reach out to. We're only a phone call away. Thank you. Hello, my name is Michelle Matisse. I am a Broward County teacher. I've been teaching for about eight years, and this is my fifth year with People to People. I also will be traveling this summer, 2015, to the South Pacific, Australia, New Zealand, and Fiji. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about Facebook. Um, parents can you know, track their child throughout the program by uh, going on Facebook. The leaders post pictures and update, so it's almost like you are on the trip too. So you will um, know where your child's at all the time. Hi, my name is Jim Vanderwood. <laughs> Some of my last year's delegation is here. They're a rowdy bunch. Um, I'm a teacher at Westminster Christian. I've been teaching there for 15 years. I've been teaching overall for 29 years, so been around for a while. Um, I will be leading a trip this summer called Medi Mediterranean Traditions. It starts in Italy, goes along the Italian coast, goes along the southern France coast of the Mediterranean, and finishes in Spain. Um, it's a 19-day trip. 
Um, one of the things that is really neat about people to people for us as leaders is when we get to country with our delegation, there is somebody there called a delegation manager that meets us. And the delegation manager is fluent in the language, they know the culture. It just makes it much easier for us as leaders to focus on our students and um, just assure their safety and things like that. We don't have to worry about all the day-to-day -day details as much. Um, so just a, a unique thing with people to people. So um, just great opportunity for your students to take part in something like this. It's just um, a really growing experience for them. Thank you. You guys are all awesome. I wanted to add also that I am leading a delegation to China so for high school. So if anyone's interested in going to China, please come talk to me. So students, you definitely have a lot of options. And I see some of you looking a little stressed. Do I want to go to Italy, France, Austria, and Switzerland? Do I want to go to Italy, France, and Spain? Do I want to go to China? Do I want to go to Fiji? Relax. It's okay. It's going to be okay, I promise. The decisions our young people have to make nowadays, right? Yeah. I'd like to be able to identify uh, families that have been involved with People to People. For students who have traveled in a People to People program, would you raise your hand for me? If you have traveled with People to People, and I know that some of you have parents or maybe even some grandparents that are here with you today. Would, you, would they stand beside you? Would you stand if you have traveled with people to people? I would like to invite all of you, and it looks like we're going to have to make some way here. I would like to invite all of our alumni families to the very front so that our new families here today can hear from some families from the local Miami area about their perspectives of traveling in the program. Keep in mind that these families were sitting right where you are just last year. And now they've had a chance to travel, to learn about this incredible experience. And I know that they'll be happy to share with you some of their insights on what this program really meant to them. So I'd like to have our students introduce themselves with your name, the school you attend, where you traveled, and maybe what your favorite part about it was. And then right after you speak, if your parent happens to be here, we'll hear from our parents and share some perspectives. When you were sitting here last year, the kinds of questions and concerns that were going through your mind, I would encourage you to speak with our parents out here today. Hi, my name is Donatella and I go to Carrollton School of the Sacred Heart. I first traveled when I was 12 in six, from sixth grade going to seventh grade, and I went on a trip called Tale of Two Cities, and that was to London and France. And I was scared at first. I mean, I was only 12. I didn't really know anybody on the trip. We had, but then we got on the plane. That's where it all started. And <laughs> that plane ride of eight hours was, something. We all started talking to each other. We weren't shy. By the end of the plane ride, it's like we've been friends our whole lives. Like, wow, I just met this person and now I know him completely, what eight hours does, really. And then we got off the plane. We went to London and France. And those 14 days went by so fast that by the time I got home, I was like, mom, I'm already here. I just left. And then this summer, I went to Celtic Cultures, which was to England, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. And this was by far one of the best trips I've ever been to in my whole entire life. I, we were only 27, so our group was really, really small. And we were so close that we were, well, we had to be inseparable, but we were inseparable. And my favorite part was Whitewater rafting in Scotland, rappelling off a castle in Wales, and homestay. At first, homestay was a little bit scary, like, I'm going to stay with these people, I don't know. And then I got there, and they were the nicest family I have ever met in my whole entire life. They were so inviting to their home. They're like, come, make yourself at home. I was like, thank you, wow. And um, it went by so fast. We went to their school. We spent a day at their school. and. Everyone is so nice in London, and 
I didn't want to leave. Those 21 days went by quicker than I thought. Thank you. My school. Uh, my name is Sarah. I go to Gables. Um, so I went this summer to the Celtic Cultures too, but I didn't go with her. I don't know why. I went to different groups. But um, I used to be really shy before this trip. Like once I got to know you, like yeah, I'd be annoying. But like I really like if I didn't know you, I wouldn't talk to you. But now that I went on this trip, like these people here like became like my best friends. Like the day after we hung out because we got like um, what what's that word? Like we missed each other. Missed is that the word? Missed. <laughs> but um, <laughs> so um, my favorite part of the trip was that. Um, on this trip, we had a girl from Georgia, because you can do that. But you can do that if, like, you're, if you're from Miami and there's a trip going out in another city, you can travel to that city and travel with that group. So we had a girl from Georgia. Oh, oh sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. We had a girl, <laughs> we had a girl from Georgia, and um, she became also like really close to my group of friends. And we miss her like so much. Um, yeah, so I guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Daniel, and I go to Robert Morgan Educational Center. Uh, I went to England, Scotland, Wales, and Ireland with everyone here, I guess. And uh, my favorite part was the homestay because you got to see how they live, taste their food. This like, and they showed us around their neighborhood a little bit. It was nice, and. It was just a great trip. I highly recommend it. <laughs> Hi, my name is Brianna. I go to Southridge. Um, last year, I went on a trip that goes to France, Italy, Austria, and Switzerland. And that was my first time traveling. And that trip was, it was amazing because France is beautiful and the view from the Eiffel Tower is unbelievable. And everything there is just, I don't know, I really liked it. And they have good bread too. And the food is really good over there. And <laughs> and um, I traveled that trip with Michelle and Carleen over there somewhere. And um, yeah, that trip was fun. And then this summer I went on this Celtic cultures with these people. And Celtic. I said Celtic. Bro, guys. Anyway. <laughs> um, and like Sarah said, these people became like my family, and they're my best friends, and we all just connected like so quickly, and then when the trip ended, like we always hung out, because we miss each other so much, and that, that place, huh? That night, that, oh, the night before we leave, you all share your memories, and we all cried, all right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we all cried. Um, <laughs> yes, you did. You I did not do He cried, <laughs> anyways. And everything over there is just so different from like Florida because, you know, Florida's like so flat. And then over there you see like these beautiful mountains and like sheep and stuff like that. And we, we got, <laughs> 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 and we also, you get to shear sheep over there. Like you get to cut the sheep's hair and we saw sheep herding puppies, which was amazing. I think that was my favorite part was seeing the puppies and just meeting all these people and eating the food and... And yeah, it was really fun. You should go. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Hold it in. Uh, hi, my name is Marcos. I go to Southford Senior High School. And well, yeah, as stated before, I went on the trip with these lovely group of people right here. <laughs> I, I love them to death. We talk every day. We're on a group chat and kick. Uh, <laughs> We all have like matching socks. I actually have them on right now. <laughs> um, to give you an example of how great these leaders are and how interactive they were, all of the guys on the trip, which were, there were only like nine, we all got a matching Despicable Me shirt. And we got Jim and our delegation manager, David, to get the shirt with us. Bro, it was the beautifulest shirt ever. <laughs> 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 so.
So, yeah. Well, yeah, the trip's expensive, but if you fundraise right, you know, you got income tax too. You do that. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll find the money, and trust me, when you do, your kid will have a great time. Um, you get to meet, like, all different types of people there. Homestays, they seem kind of, like, scary, but they're great. Like, the people are super nice. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jakari, and I go to Color Bay Academy, and I went on the Celtic Cultures with them, as you already know. Um, my favorite part about the trip had to be, like, every time we... <laughs> <laughs> every time, like, after, you know, we would get back from, you know, an activity, we go to the hotel, I feel like the bonding after the activities was the best part because that's how you got to know everybody and the delegation leaders and that's how you bonded. And that's really where most of your memories come from, like the friendships that you build behind the scenes. Um, so also to give you a little insight on the trip, the delegation leaders are really like hands-on. They have a Facebook page that you can add yourself or whatever. And you can interact with them. You have like a day-to-day -day, like schedule on what everybody's doing mm -hmm. and you can contact your kids and it's a really great trip and it's I know it seems expensive at first but with the friendships and stuff that you build you can all do fundraising together and I know that everybody that is able to go on the trip is bright so you put your bright minds together and do some fundraising and just yeah <laughs> Okay, um, my name is Iane Miranda, and my trip wasn't as, as adventurous as theirs. I went to a trip inside the States to Washington, D.C., and um, I think the best part about my trip was when we went to the Saudi Arabian Embassy, because I love to eat and try new foods, so we got to try like all these cool, fo cool foods and stuff. Um, also on the trip, I built, I built some really great friendships, two people who I still keep in contact with today, and I met them three years ago when I was in sixth grade. Uh, also, my, another part that I really liked was going to the historical landmarks. It really makes you sit there and stand back and like, you're really thankful for what the soldiers and what our country has done for us to be here together as one and to just take in the moment um the trip like she like she was saying is it is kind of expensive at first but you do find the money because you build really great friendships it broadens your horizons as far as scholarships and college and stuff like that and it, it's just a really great trip i encourage all of you guys to try and get your kids to go on the trip but yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> wow <laughs> Well, what else could be said? Um, I think I'm one of the only parents, aside from this beautiful lady next to me. Um, just to put your mind at ease, safety is their number one concern. For me, letting my daughter go for her, she was gone for almost three weeks, was a really hard decision to make. But we made it, and the monies, I mean, it's priceless. As you can hear all the testimonials, uh, you can't put a value on what they experienced. That's all I want to say. Um, hi, my name is Chloe Jean Baptiste. I go to International Studies Preparatory Academy. Um, I traveled. Oh, sorry. Do you guys hear me now? Okay. Um, I traveled with people to people this summer, um, and with Angelica over here and with Megan. Um, I can say my favorite part of the trip would be going up the Eiffel Tower. Because, I mean, as a kid, you're always looking at the TV like, oh, my gosh, I want to go there one day. <laughs> and I'm over here up on the Eiffel Tower, and I'm like, I can finally say, yes, I've been to the top of the Eiffel Tower. Like, if I felt like I was in Lizzie McGuire part two. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I'm over here like, this is what dreams are made of. And it was honestly one of the best experiences I've ever had. Um, if you're worried about safety, you're always safe. You're always in a group. The leaders are always on your back, telling you to stay in the group. Close. Nice way. 
<laughs> I'm joking. It always in a nice way, in a meaningful way. Um, if you're worried about money, I mean, I couldn't afford the trip myself. It took a lot of fundraising. And in the end, all that hard work, all that effort, all that frustration you've had, it's always worth it in the end. So I re request? Request? No. Wrong word. <laughs> Recommend. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Recommend that you guys try going on the trip. Yeah. Hello, I'm Alejandro. Um, I'm currently a freshman at Coral Gable Senior High School. And um, I went uh, one summer ago to the Heart of Europe trip. Uh, I was in seventh grade and I was going to eighth grade. I have to say that my favorite part about this trip was the homecoming and the food, yes. If you're not a picky eater, then you might as well go with the food. And um, so yeah, in this home, home stay, um, I got to meet a lot of people. I got to meet, I got to stay with a family in Austria and they were very nice people. They, um, they had a farm, so it was like, it was kind of a different environment than what you see in like Miami. And I, I met a lot of people from different parts of the US. Uh, I had friends from Louisiana, West Virginia, you name it. And I highly recommend that you go on one of these trips because this is um, once in a lifetime op opportunity. And you, like, nobody else gets to go on these trips. And you have, like, a lot of, you're, and if you go on one of these trips, you're very lucky to go on them because I mean, like I say, nobody else gets a chance like, like us. That's all I have to say. Hi, everybody. My name is Angelica Ballestas. I go to Ronald Reagan High. I was fortunate to go with Megan and Chloe to the European Heritage Trip. trip. Um, I can't really say to pinpoint a favorite part of the trip because it's such a fullness experience. It's so complete, so amazing that you cannot, in my personal point of view, you cannot really say this is the only thing that I like the most of all because everything fills you in a different way. Everything teaches you a different experience. It's a different kind of culture that you get to see. Um, when it comes to Europe, everywhere you walk, everywhere you see, there's full of history. When it comes to parents, I know you guys are the most difficult to convince because of course the monetary problem, like the monetary involvement of everything is a lot, like a lot of commitment. Your kids are going to a different continent for a lot of days. You never know if they get sick. You never know the safety issues, all of that stuff. But I personally, my mom is what we Hispanics call um, like mama pollo, <laughs> super overprotective. So for her, it was really hard to let me go. We like I, All of the leaders tried really hard to convince the parents that, of course, the kids are going to be safe. And it's true, because what? You get direct messages when your kid lives the airplane, where your kids get out of the airplane, where your kids in the hotel, when your kid is in this place, at what time. Um, you also have the phone services that people to people offer for you to communicate with your kids. So it's constant communication. The leaders are like another mom. They're like a group of moms. They are always there. We all had, <laughs> it's okay, you guys are moms too. Dan was like my mom too. <laughs> Dan was my, my other mom, <laughs> I guess. But, um, we all had those days that we felt a little homesick because it's normal. For example, our trip was 22 days away from home, away from our food, away from our beds, from mommy that cleans everything, that does everything. So it gives you a lot of maturity. Leaders are always there when you feel sad, to hug you, to give you a word of encouragement, to like um, make you laugh. So it's an amazing experience. It gives you a well-rounded view of what is the world really. It's not only like National Geographic type of thing, you know? So I encourage you, parents, to give this one in a lifetime experience to your kids because they're truly gonna uh, value it and it's something that they're gonna have for the rest of their lives because you can buy them an iPhone, you can buy them a purse, you can buy them this and that, but that's not gonna lie, 
that's not going to last them a lifetime like this experience that they're going to be able to see. Thank you to the effort of my parents. I was able to see this and this and this, and I was able to learn this and this and this. And they have a broader view on the word. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming here. They say the two greatest fears in life, public speaking. The second, dying while you're public speaking. <laughs> Let's give our students a warm round of applause. <laughs> and I'm sure they'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have after our meeting today. We've heard what our students have done. Let's take a look and see what you're going to be doing as they make their way back to their seats. Guys, we are going to one of the most incredible locations in the world. This is where art truly comes alive. We are going to Venice. Hi, I'm O'Shea. I'm a student ambassador alum from the state of North Carolina. And I'm here to tell you about an amazing three week adventure. I know because I too went on European discovery. Your adventure kicks off in the capital of Italy. Rome. Just walking down the streets in Rome, you can see and touch ancient history and amazing art. Trek up the Spanish steps and don't forget to throw a coin in the Trevi Fountain. The legend is that's how you make sure you'll come back to Rome someday. Then bonus, you'll enter a whole other country taking inside Rome city limits, Vatican City. The Vatican may be the world's smallest nation, but as the headquarters of the worldwide Catholic Church, it's a pretty powerful one. St. Peter's Basilica is the massive cathedral where the Pope performs mass several times a year. Take in the unbelievable artistry of the Sistine Chapel. Michelangelo painted more than 300 figures on the ceiling, each with its own expressive features. Naturally, when in Rome, you do as the ancient Romans did, gather in the Colosseum and the Forum. In the Colosseum, you can't help but think about all that happened on its stage. Chariot races, wild animal safaris, or the real extreme sports of the day, the deadly gladiator contest. Then take Shakespeare's advice and get thee to a nunnery, or possibly a monastery. A priest, monk, or nun will give you a glimpse into their community and their lives of service. Just one of your unique people-to-people -people moments. Then fast forward to Florence. Florence is the birthplace of the Renaissance, home to high art and high fashion for centuries. You'll have the chance to see the famous Ponte Vecchio Bridge, nicknamed the Bridge of Gold, because gold and jewelry vendors have sold their wares there since medieval times. You'll also see Florence's well-known Duomo, rising up from the orange-tiled roofs surrounding it. But the beauty of Florence isn't only in its architecture. During your time at the Academia Gallery, you'll see a 500-year-old wonder, Michelangelo's 14-foot-tall statue of David. Next is off to Pisa. Italians spent nearly 200 years building the Leaning Tower of Pisa, and they spent the 6th century since then trying to keep it up. Then we make our way to the city of Venice, Italy. In Venice, ride through the narrow canals and under bridges on one of the city's famous gondolas. A gondola is the way to get around in Venice and see the sights. You'll get to see a live demonstration of Murano glass blowing. The oven goes by Houston glass. 1,200 degrees, slowly, slowly the glass is taking shape in the top part. Good. Now the end all. As you see, pull the glass, you can do it by yourself. Right? We need a young artist. Right? Grazie, hey, maestro. After you wave arrivederci to Italy, Make your way to Sirnitz, Austria, where you'll receive an official welcome. It's an exclusive opportunity to meet a representative from the community and get an idea of just how important you are as an ambassador of peace and friendship. Meet the locals in the small ski resort town and check out their 400-year-old working flower mill. You'll get fresh air with some games on the farm, then you'll get funky fresh with an old folk dance. You'll get a real taste of farm life in Austria with a rich dish of frika made with polenta, onions, cheese, and best of all, bacon. See more of the Austrian countryside in Friesach. Friesach also boasts a castle in the making. Get this, that new castle is being built today. 
using only medieval methods. No steel, no cranes, no chainsaws. Everything is done with hand tools or simple machines like pulleys. And people to people ambassadors are the only students invited to help with the castle's construction. You're not just helping some cool people, you're also making history. Seriously, how many people can say they've helped build an actual castle? Afterward, feast at an authentic medieval banquet. If you want to be real medieval, you don't need a fork or spoon, just a great big napkin. Then spend some time singing songs and talking around a bonfire before you bunk down in a medieval camp. From medieval farms to modern glam, Vienna is a fabulous city with so much history. The State Opera House, the Imperial Palace, and St. Stephen's Cathedral. Vienna has always been a mecca for great musicians, including Beethoven, Brahms, and Mozart. So you've got to get dressed up and see a performance in one of Austria's glittering concert halls. But history isn't all beautiful. Your journey will take a much more serious note during a visit to the Mauthausen concentration camp outside of Vienna. You'll get the chance to meet a concentration camp survivor, one of the few still living, and hear firsthand about the horrors of life during the Holocaust. The survivor's words were echoing in my ears as we walked through the eerie quiet of a place where as many as 300,000 innocent people were executed. You can see why President Eisenhower was so dedicated to building a peaceful future after his own World War II experiences in Europe. And visits like these give us, as student ambassadors, our own chance to understand the past. One of the most unique things about People to People Ambassador programs is the chance to make real connections with people from other cultures. One of the best ways for you to truly connect with people across the globe is through your homestay. Don't worry, it's normal to be a little nervous about staying with a new family in a foreign country. I know I was. But trust me, soon you'll find that your homestay is one of your most favorite memories. This is the chance of a lifetime to build real bonds with people from other countries. What better way to bond with new friends than over delicious food? At the Innsbruck Tourism School, you'll see where people prepare for careers and find hotels and restaurants. One of the instructors will teach you how to bake a real apple strudel, which is all flaky, buttery goodness at this school sitting high in the Alps. Next, we're off to Switzerland. Peaceful green countryside surrounded by rugged snow-capped peaks, rustic farmhouses, and curious cows. Take a late cruise to just bliss out on the clear, crisp air and amazing views. The final country of your European discovery is France. You'll see the sights that make Paris one of the world's most inspiring cities. The high fashion of Champs-Élysées, the elegant Arc de Triomphe, and the amazing windows of Notre Dame Cathedral. One of the best parts will come when you browse the artsy Montmartre district and see the paintings of a French artist in his own workshop and gallery. Paris fed the talents of countless artists including Monet, Picasso, and Van Gogh. While you're in Paris, stop to explore one of the most luxurious palaces in the world. The Chateau de Versailles represents the height of the French king's power and excess. You also get to try some of the foods France is famous for, like quiche or escargot. Of course, there are two more must-dos before you leave Paris. Number one is, you've guessed it, the Eiffel Tower. Two elevators will carry you 900 feet to the top of the famed tower, and the views are something you had to see to believe. I'm on top of the Eiffel Tower, and this is a life-changing experience. And I've always dreamed that I would be here once, so it's pretty awesome. Then, for number two, go hit the loop to see the Mona Lisa, and the Venus de Milo and Wing Victory, and a whole lot more. That's because the Louvre is one of the most important and enormous art collections in the world. The journey goes so fast, you won't believe when it's finally time to board your flight and head home. And now I actually have a new perspective of the world, of other people, even myself, because of this program. I've been inside other cultures. I've learned that I'm more capable than I believe and I have new friends and family on the other side of the globe. I do feel like I understand so much more, and I'm excited to keep learning about the world. It's your time. Take that first step, open up your mind, and get ready for the world. 
Students, that is your program. I think we have thought of everything. How do we get from Miami over to Europe? If you'll please take out your boarding passes, that being your blue application book, and I would encourage you to take some notes as we move along. I'm going to cover some very important details pretty quickly today. When you open up your boarding pass, please turn to page one. Page one is the most important page in this entire book. Page one. As you will see on this page, this does outline for you the very simple three steps that you'll need to take to get involved in this local delegation traveling to Europe. Step number one is simply to apply to the program. You can either do that online or if you would like to speak with a live person, simply give us a call. Also, uh, if you would like to speak with somebody in Espanol, telefono in the office. See? Okay, so you can do that as well. But either way, the very first step is to submit your application. Until you submit your application, nothing will happen for your family. So that's the very first step. You will notice there is a small deposit that is required with the application to process it. This is not an additional fee. Instead, think of this as your first tuition payment. This will go towards the tuition balance, and then, folks, we will make monthly payments over the next nine months, giving you enough time with the final balance payment not being due until next year, next May. Okay? Now, after you apply, step number two is to get your letters of recommendation done. Students, this is very important. This is part of your selection interview. So in your booklet, you will find two letters of recommendation that need to be filled out by teachers and a third one that needs to be filled out by an adult in the community that knows you well. Here's a great tip. I would encourage you to make sure that these two teachers that fill these out are teachers who actually like you. Okay. Then step number three is you will come to your interview. And we do have many different interview dates available. All of those interview dates are on your white sheet of paper, your teacher leader bio. You only need to come to one of those dates. If you did not receive the leader bio, that is fine. Our teacher leaders will be able to assist your family after the conclusion of our meeting today. But again, step number one, application. Step number two, you'll get your letters of recommendation filled out. And then step number three, you'll simply come to your selection interview. Let's go ahead now and turn to page six, please. Page six. This page does outline all of the programs that we are offering for this coming summer. But keep in mind, not every program listed here is leaving out of Florida. We do have some additional options for you as we had discussed earlier. We do have programs traveling on Mediterranean traditions, so you might want to make a note of this. We also have the program Journey Through the South Pacific that goes to Fiji. We also have the program Great Wall and Beyond that goes to China. But for the sake of time, I want to focus on this local delegation. So please look under the Europe itineraries and find the name of your program, European Discovery. Students, please draw a circle around that program name. That is critical information. We need to make sure that you're in the right group. Again, that's European Discovery. As you will see, this program is going to be traveling throughout Italy, France, Switzerland, and Austria for 19 days. The tuition is to the far right of $64.99. I'm going to talk more about that tuition in just a moment. But again, for now, please draw a circle around the name of your program. Our departure date will be in mid-June after school session is finalized. We will be working on that departure date as soon as all of these selection interviews are completed and we have our 40 students selected. Then we'll go ahead and provide you with the departure date shortly thereafter. But do know that it will be in mid-June 
after school session is finalized. Now looking at the very bottom of the page in the lower left hand corner, this is your departure airport. Of course, we will also be returning back to this airport after our the uh, program is finalized. Great news. Go ahead and write in Miami. Going to keep it local for you. Makes sense. Right? So Miami will be the airport that we're going to use. Mo moving across the page, you will see that this is the international airline surcharge. Parents, any time that we book an international airline ticket, we'll see that there are airline taxes, fuel surcharges, all those things in the fine print. This is exactly what this is. This is a fee assessed by the airlines. Obviously, this amount does vary quite a bit depending on your destination. So traveling over to Europe, this amount is 516, 516. Please write that in. At the bottom center of this page, the international airline surcharge, 516, 516. Moving across the page on the lower right hand corner of this page, this is the optional travel protection plan. It's optional, it's not required. It's your standard traveler's insurance. Your family will learn much more about this over the next few months. This is not required when you submit your application to the program, so I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on it, but do know that it's optional and you'll receive additional information over the next few months. So it is your international airline surcharge in addition to your tuition that makes up your entire tuition. Looking at the following page, I've created this gray box there that allows you to see at a very quick glance what is included in the tuition. As you can see, starting at the top, it includes all of our pre-travel preparation. It includes all of our transportation all of our flights, our motor coach. It includes three full meals a day. Students, do you see where it says meals? Go ahead and write in the number three there. Three full meals a day. All of our accommodations, all of the entrance passes into all of our locations, all of the fees for access to all of our events, all that's included. Parents, our alumni families continue to thank our organization year after year for making our tuition all-inclusive. That means there's no surprises. That means you're not getting a phone call on day eight of the program from Europe that says, I'm having an amazing time, Mom, and you wouldn't believe all the souvenirs that I bought. The bad news is I'm completely out of money and you're going to need to overnight me money so that I can complete this program. Basically, if you wanted to travel for three weeks, four different countries without a dime in your pocket, you literally can. Everything's included. Parents absolutely appreciate that. So there's no surprises. Everything is taken care of prior to departure. Also included in the tuition, turning to page eight in the lower left-hand column, this is an academically accredited program. That makes this program very unique. That means that our students are actually going to learn something. You will all be eligible for high school academic credit. So upon your return from the program, our office will provide you your official transcript that has your academic credit, and it will also have your 10 community service learning hours that you will need for graduation from high school. This is gonna be a difference maker for many of you when you are applying to college. Because when you're applying to college, of course, a lot of students are gonna have the same grades that you are. They're gonna have AP, they're gonna have IB, they're gonna have community service. This last year, out of all of the applications turned in to American colleges, 30% of them were from Chinese students. Most of these students speak four languages. They've got excellent academic performance. They've traveled around the world. They've got an international perspective. For those of you working very hard in school, I would encourage you to have an international travel experience with people to people on your college application. 
Currently, over 80% of our students in this program are being accepted into the colleges of their very first choice. Harvard, Yale, Stanford, Princeton, Columbia. This is a huge difference maker for many of our students year after year. This is really going to separate you from your peers. Let's go ahead now and turn to the very back inside cover page, please. The very back inside cover page. I had a couple of families who asked me during registration for this meeting if we offered any type of funding resources. Of course we do. So for families that would like to fundraise some of the tuition for the program, I find that our families, our students, are usually successful in raising at least half of their tuition. And using this website is how they are successful in doing this. Here's how that web page actually appears. It's a fantastic resource. And this is built into the experience of our program so that our students get much more appreciation. And they're also going to get some great life skills along the way prior to departure. Many students think that a dollar bill comes from dad's wallet. But we know it doesn't. But this allows your students to earn their way, allows them to set short-term goals, allows them to budget, and this is a great experience for them. So for those of you that are interested in this, this is a very valuable resource. All of you should have a white sticker on the front of your blue application book. If you know that you are going to apply to this program, as a courtesy to you, because we know that your schedules are very busy, if you know that you are going to apply, we will allow you to reserve your interview date and time before you leave today. We have interview posters out in the reception area. Students, you can simply write your information on there. Don't worry about your PIN number, but all the other information, fill out that, and then you can secure your interview date and time before you leave as a simple courtesy to you. Please remember that you're not going to come to your interview until you do step number one. And what is step number one? Submitting the application to the program. Our teachers will be available for any additional questions. Again, please remember there are only 40 spots available for the program because we're not going to take city transportation everywhere. It's not even reliable in Europe. Instead, we'll have our own private motor coach but these only hold so many people. 40 students, the four teacher leaders, the in-country expert, and the motor coach driver, that's it. So if you want to travel in this program from your local area of South Miami, traveling with the teacher leaders you met here today, you're gonna wanna get your application in within the next 72 hours. You are welcome to apply to the program anytime throughout the year prior to departure. But keep in mind, if you wait, I can still travel you on the European Discovery Program, but it will definitely mean that you're traveling with a different city, maybe an entirely different state. So if I have a spot available in Atlanta, or if I have a spot available in a delegation from Dallas, or maybe Phoenix, I can put you in those groups, but parents, that means that your children are going to be traveling with teachers that you're never going to meet prior to departure, and students are going to be traveling with other students that you're never going to be able to meet prior to departure either. I find that most families want to stay local. That means that all of your monthly meetings are taking place in Miami. That means you get to know the teacher leaders. That means that you're making friends with the other students prior to departure. If you know you want to be local, do yourself that favor, take the first step, submit your application, and then we will call you to confirm your interview. God bless. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much. Let's give our alumni students one last round of applause. <laughs>